Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part two of Let's Play Europa Universalis 4. Third Odyssey, the heirs of Ericsson in the last part. Well, we set up our first colony and is, are currently settling quicker than our opposition of Markland. Now, I'm pretty sure, due to the fact that one of the two Vinlandic nations is being played, that the missions where that where Vinland is united does not actually occur. We'd actually have to attack them ourselves to, you know, conquer them. And obviously, it's going to be a little bit. It's not going to be as instant that there are our, our conquest, but it's still going to happen. So I'm going to rival in the Inu because, well, they are a rival of ours, and their only ally is over there. And I'm guessing they'd have six thousand men as well. Yes, they have twelve thousand men. At the moment, the game is the fight will be in their favour. Alicia's grown five provinces, a little bastards. Robber barons, um, let's give. Hmm. We'll do this one because the uh, our uh, ability to have enough. Uh, what's it called? Uh, influence in our court, and we are currently losing quite a bit of money. I must admit, it sucks to lose this much money because we we need our, obviously need to set up our colonies, but it's kind of hard to set up a colony when you don't have any money. Um, so what do I want to do to remedy this? I could slow down the growth of my colony. That is very much something we could do. Personally, I think that's stupid, but it may come to that. Um. That fucking shit, remember that? I thought we had a war deck then. No, um. Don't have any. Hmm. I guess for now we're just gonna have to cope with this. Uh, it looks like Markland got rid of all their army. Uh, there's an easy way to figure out. No, apparently their army is 80% stronger than ours. They probably just moved it over here. I just wanna make see if my uh, assumption's true and they've moved their army there. No? Where the fuck is their army then? Okay, I want to know. Let's have a look. No, Markland has 6,000 men. I couldn't for the life of you, life of me tell you where they are. But he has them. He, he most certainly has 6,000 men. Good for him, I guess. Good for him. So, I think the first thing we need to do is just basically, like, I, like, well, set ourselves up. There's nothing else we can do right now other than set ourselves up for, you know, the future. I still can't embrace feudalism. So if we say if we paid this much, we would gain 10 settlers still. The vast and endless sea? Uh... That's just a normal event, I'm pretty sure. If not, oh well. Wow, we're over the force limit as well for our navy. You know these ships here? I don't need them. That's actually helped a little bit. Good. Our leaders eat a benevolent. That's really not an issue right now. What is an issue is the fact that I accidentally prioritized the wrong of my... Yes, look at that. They're actually... They're uh, not ro roaring ahead, but they're basically getting far ahead of... Well, not far ahead again, but they're getting ahead of us because of the fact that I fucked up. So we're going to be paying for the mistake I made. The good thing is, I don't think they'd be able... If they can run two colonists, then this is BS. But the AI obviously gets the bonuses that they, they get anyway because... Well, I guess fuck the play, I believe the player, I believe the word is. Um, so if we pay that much, I can get this. Which means also, like, I can also get tech. And the Inu are no longer valid rivals of ours. Good. So it means you now need a rival, and I'm I'm good on the Markland front. Thank you, game. So we're going to be getting admin and military tech, but our diplo tech is going to be thorough. Like it's definitely most certainly going to be placed firmly into. Uh, Obviously, our ideas, which is what needs to be done. 
fishers and whalers, our nation relies quite heavily on what the sea can offer us. As such, our various fishermen and whalers have become quite competitive and often overstep each other's boundaries. Such has been happening the past several weeks with various brawls and arguments occurring in quick succession. What should we do? Or what should be, should be done? Increase the fishing area. I don't give a fuck if I have low prestige, to be honest. Extra production efficiency should buy me some little bit more... A little bit more room to get my colony going. So right now, we're... They're growing at 30 fucking 5. They have a large food stockpile. I still don't know how to get that. That must be a triggered modifier. Nope. Well then, it's not a modifier I know how to get. We do need to get the farming. Because obviously... Uh, raiders unsuccessful. In most recent Viking raid, our raiders brought home nothing more than shame. Uh, so that's some uh, uh, nothing more than than that's some measly fruits, pieces of venison, and their shameful selves. They brought back a ducat. I'm happy with that. To be fair, more than I could. Uh... Oh fuck me! I'm just yeah. We're now not growing here. These cunts will catch up if I don't grow. We can lose a bit of money. Five people here. I like that. We need to get to tech. We need to get to this tech so we ignore penalty, climate penalties. Needs to be done. Nautical heritage is going to be shite, but noble privileges. So we could have a curse strength and not curtail them. For the first time in probably ages, I'm actually going to curtail them and get myself some more money. So a little bit more tax money will be good for us. It means I can cre increase this. Any way of me getting my colony back to growing quicker than these assholes, I'm going to do. It's just how it has to be done. They're getting probably quite a bit of diploy, which is really upsetting. This asshole, he has to be at least 60 year old or ruled for 20 years old. 20 years. Uh, this is for 25, so about 10, I'd say. Yeah, 10 years. What governments can we change to? That's a good point. Oh, there is none. Yeah, we're just. Ignore what I said. I it's fucking ass. I really need to pay attention to what I'm doing. Apparently, there's no colonist present there. I wouldn't know why though. They've not colonized anywhere else that I can see. Nor should they have the economy for it. So there is that. Profiteering in bow. Fuck hell, fuck Markland, that's my opinion of that. Right. The only problem is after the first colony gets set up, then we're going to need to get another colony and another and another. And until we get to, well, until we get ourselves, our economy working, it's kind of hard. Because even that's not going to do much for us. So we, we, we're going to be making furs. That's all right. Um, we're only, I need to take it around 15. We can't afford having it that high. So as soon we should actually move to this. We'll make the clergy happy for now. Um... You know what, I'm going to take this ability drop and do that now. Because as soon as, once we get to this idea here, the wheel have got that. So that's obviously, you know, in our favor. I mean, we're, we're still way further along than they are on theirs. I just wish I could get large foot, uh, large, what's the foot of large foot, uh, food stock hold. 
The large food stockpile. There it is. Sorry, Lejo, my words are not working today. Losing prestige is much better than losing uh, legitimacy. Or gaining prestige, or whatever the fuck just happened. Uh, we could actually do trustworthy allies. That's not really a pipe dream. So I'm going to improve relations with these two. Because may as well have my diplomats doing something. Just so I can get that done. They want me to increase my income by an entire gold piece a month. I would love to. Unfortunately, colonizing is an expensive game. Ah, oh, well, we, we can do this. So, once this colony's done, we'll uh, we'll grab here next. Or they're all they're all free development, so really, really, it's up to us what we want. I'd, I'd rather get this and then that, but that means I have this really good province. But we'll just go the slow. We'll go like this way. We'll do the slow thing. I think that's the safest thing to do. We got this. We got this. I, I still I don't know where the fuck these guys have put their men. I legit. I, they, I'm guessing they must have gone off on like a. Um, fuck's it called um i don't actually remember what it's called but holy shit that we are really far behind these guys well there's not much we can do to be fair we'll get there we'll get there like i said it's it's a it'll be a slow start but that's fine Soon enough, we'll be able to enact the Diplo to uh, obviously increase our thing. Or we'll be able to sack this guy and get one better Diplo. Hey, we're going to get the Viking Herdman or Northern Spearwall soon. I'm pretty sure the Northern Spearwall is better. The Northern Spearwall has a single defensive pip in, in shock. Which I, I'd say is actually better than makes them better than the Northern uh, Viking Herdman. Uh, monetary reforms. Uh, we don't have any inflation. Well, fuck you, I want my stability back. Not that it helped. Until we get the farming back as well, we're not going to be doing much trade here. Because, uh, where the f there I am. So we're losing 75% because of lack of farming. With farming, we'd be uh, making some money there. Unfortunately, we didn't have a ruler diplo of skill of one, a four. It happens. Do they have an entrepot? We don't. That's like, the, they, they obviously got, they got, not lucky, but they were given that to begin with. There it is, trusting alliances. No country can stand alone in this world. We must build lasting relationships with other countries if we are to be able to grow and prosper long term. Carpman contract, we've read this before. I will take the trade efficiency, thank you. I'd love to grow our development by at least 50. We'll get there. Wood clearance, nice. We're most certainly growing quicker than them. Mostly because they don't seem to be growing at all. Which is just confusing. We'll definitely go for Anticosti after this. Just, I mean, we may as well.
Making a profit. Well, let's drain that profit immediately then. So this colony grows a little bit better. They'll get there. They'll get there soon, I'd say. I do not. I, I do envy be wishing I could be Alicia, who just gets to gr basically free reign to grow. It's always a little bit more effort as the Vikings, and by little I mean a lot more effort. Yeah, we're very close to finishing that now. Um, we have 3.62 gold in the bank. Assassination of Noble. We'll give the will we'll do that. Uh let's recall our diplomat. I have no intention of leaving them there because I have in full intent I do have full well intention to kill them. Could piss off the could piss off the merchant guilds to give me all the admin like the dips are some more diplo, but it's just not worth it right now. It, it's just not actually worth like legitimately. It's just not going to do us any good as a country. And again, I, again, you guys say like I shouldn't spend. One of you said I shouldn't just buy myself stability, but right now. Any little amount of money we can make means we can grow our colonies a little bit quicker. Population boom. During our trade deal with Leachians, their main, their main selling wares have been food, crops, and planting techniques. This allows us loud for a sudden population boom where more and more Norse folk see, seek even more land to establish their growing family. I'll welcome these new lands. So for two years, we get, ex we get increased growth. Of course, it's called that. Um, losing 2.7, that could work. We get 70 colonists a year, holy fuck. That's a lot of colonists every year. A lot indeed. We got extra Diplo there as well, which is good. I think... Oh, shit, yeah, that's... Okay, let's not... Yeah, we're gonna lose the colony there, but that's fine. Just go sit there and... Uh, go sit there and... Uh... Say they've got very minor aggression. They did it... They attacked pretty fucking quickly. Gotta admit... Anyway, sorry, Lizzie. I was just looking at the event to form Vinland there. Just a bit confused about some of the little things, but it doesn't matter. So we're losing 0.16, so we're doing all right now. We would never be able to run two colonists for a while. It's All I really want from this moment is that it removes penalty from climates. Uh, execute bailiffs, obviously. The last Greenlander. Expeditions to Greenland have once only yielded stories to, of des a desolate land filled with hostile natives. However, the most recent band of explorers have come upon the Felsey uh, Church, a once Christian temple now inhabited by a wise hermit, likely the only Norseman left on the entire island. They're not sure what to do with him. Uh, bring him home so he can may spread the word of the All Father. I think that would be the nice thing to do. You know, bring him back to civilization and make him feel special. Because after all, 
He is. And there's the Nathan Uprising. The good thing is my men should be able to put them down fairly quickly. There we go. We are suffering losses, but in this grand scheme of thing, it's things, it doesn't really fucking matter. We may get a second colony before they even finish this one. Ah, yes. They got... Oh, shit. I did not realize Diplo... They went for Diplotech. I'm going to go for Diplo Ideas, then I'm going to go for Diplotech. Because Arctic... I mean, Arct technically, Ar getting rid of the Arctic is not as good as that, but... I'd rather get this for now. Because this also gives me this. So... Uh, oh, fuck. I'd love to do this as well. Had to be done. Because now we make profit. So doing that has actually given us the control of the Ericsson Fjord or Ericsson... What the fuck is it called again? Goal, thank you. Uh, mission fulfilled. High income. We must increase state income by any means necessary. Money is a requirement for any endeavor of the state, from the daily expense of the government to the maintenance of armies to invade our enemies. Awesome. Um, and which one is it, Bear? Viking Herdman is said to be Bear. I'm going to go with the Nor Northern Spear War. Thank you. Anyways, gentlemen, I hope you guys have enjoyed. In the next part, we'll continue on. I'll see you guys then.